everybody, welcome to another Sea Kids video. My name is Selena Rebel and I'm so excited to be talking to you about Pentecost. Did you know that this Sunday is actually Pentecost Sunday? And when it's Pentecost, we remember one of the most well-known moments in the Bible where people start receiving the Holy Spirit. Now before we jump into the middle of the story, let's go back to the beginning. You know, part of the incredible nature of our God is that he displays himself in a variety of ways. One of these ways is through his son, Jesus Christ. He is our king. And then another way is the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit? What is that? Well, I'm glad you asked. First of all, the Holy Spirit is not a what, it's a who. He is God, but he's also distinct from God. The Spirit of God is responsible for creating order, indwelling believers, and helping God's family to advance the kingdom of God on earth. He is like a guide who will always lead you on the path that God has laid out for you. He is our helper. We first see the Holy Spirit all the way back to the beginning of creation. It says in Genesis 1 verse 1 to 2, in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. And the earth was without form and void, and darkness was over the face of the deep. And the Spirit of God was hovering over the face of the waters. And it was in that moment that the Holy Spirit helped to bring order from the chaos of what was to what it is now. So cool, right? From there, the Holy Spirit played an important role in bringing God's family back into his kingdom. And we see him appear throughout all of the Old Testament. And then he makes another great entrance at the baptism of Jesus. Matthew 3.16 says, says, And when Jesus was baptized, immediately he went up from the waters, and behold, the heavens were open to him. And he saw the Spirit of God descending down like a dove and coming to rest on him. And then, if it wasn't already cool enough, the Holy Spirit guided Jesus to love people, to heal people, and even bring people from the dead. What? <laughs> yeah. And in fact, the Holy Spirit brought Jesus back from the dead. But guess what? The Holy Spirit was just getting started. Romans 8 verse 11 says, If the Spirit of Him who raised Jesus from the dead dwells in you, he who raised Christ Jesus from the dead will also give life to you and to your bodies through his spirit who dwells in you. Wait, what happened? That's right. The spirit is now within all of those who pledged their loyalty to King Jesus and are now citizens of God's kingdom. And John 14 teaches us that Jesus was excited that we, we would be ultimately filled with the Holy Spirit. Why? Because he knew that the Holy Spirit would help us in everything we do. He is here to guide us. And we see this excitement in Pentecost. Remember when I told you that in the beginning of the video? At Pentecost in Acts 2, it's where the Holy Spirit helps the disciples to carry out the Great Commission. And now the Holy Spirit has made everyone in God's family a new creation. He has filled them with the fruit of the Spirit and empowered them with the gift of the Spirit. The Holy Spirit helps us to love people and to advance the kingdom of God here on earth. Now, that was a lot of information. Let's go summarize. We talked about the variety of ways that God sh is showing himself through his son, Jesus Christ, and through the Holy Spirit. And we have learned that the Holy Spirit is not a what, but he's a who. He is God, but he's also distinct from God. The Spirit of God is responsible for creating order, for indwelling believers, and helping God's family to advance the kingdom of God here on earth. He is like a guide who will always lead you on the path that God has laid out for you. He is our helper. And since creation, the Holy Spirit has been a helper for everything within God's kingdom. 
And we have learned that all throughout the Bible, we see him provide order and guidance, empowerment, and God's power for the people of God. And we have read John 14, you know, and that teaches us that Jesus was excited that we would receive the Holy Spirit. And why? Because he will be there to help us every step of the way if we put our loyalty to King Jesus. And when we enter into God's kingdom, Jesus gives us the Holy Spirit to help us. Isn't that so cool? That means that he can help us with our struggles, with our decisions, and even help us to love people better. Believe it or not, it was also the Holy Spirit that, Je that brought Jesus back from the dead. And one day, he will bring us all back to life as we spend eternity with King Jesus. <laughs> yes! The Holy Spirit helps us to love people and to advance God's kingdom on earth. And now to help you remember what we have learned in today's video, I have three questions for you. And you can write them down or you can discuss them with your brother or sisters or with your mom and dad or whoever. And the questions are, who is the Holy Spirit? And why did God send his Holy Spirit in creation? And three, why was Jesus so excited that we'd receive the Holy Spirit? If you forgot the answers, that's okay. You can watch this video again. We hope that, I hope that you've learned a lot today. I hope that you've learned that the Holy Spirit is our helper and that he wants to help you and guide you.